MLB The Show's tour of the minor leagues continues as we make a stop in the 16-team Pacific Coast League. Tonight, it's the home opener for this new season between the Salt Lake Bees and the Albuquerque Isotopes. Stepping up now, Eric Salcedo. And we are set for baseball here this evening. Not close with the off-speed pitch taken for a ball. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Boy, and it's a good night for the old hot chocolate here. 46 degrees at game time. Just a bit high with the fastball, but didn't get the call. Smoked on the ground up the middle. Rogers brings it in. Throw on to first, and one shortstop grounds out to the other, one away. Now in the box, Cam Williams. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. Swing and he pops him up. And that's in there. Base hit. That is first. The center fielder. Joe Adele. Into the box. Joe Adele. Into the corner and slicing foul. The next three two. This is on the ground over to first. There's one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Digging in now, Jonathan Daza. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. High in the air out towards shallow right. Williams has to come in a few steps, but he has it for route number one. Standing in, Eric Stamets. He drove in one of their two runs in last night's ball game. Now the 2-1. Bases are empty, one man out. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. Lays out, and he's got it. A great play for route number two. So bases are empty here with two gone. And next to bat, it'll be Chris Owings. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Down the third baseline. But this will wind up a foul ball. Two and two. Now here's the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. Hit out towards second. He's got it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. At the plate, number 74. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. a line drive base hit to left field so a base hit to kick things off here and there's a man aboard to start out there half of the second that is fair. The left Brandon Marsh. to the plate now going, Brandon Marsh and there he goes towards second ball even at two and two nobody out runner on first Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. When the guy on the mound has complete command of his off speed, especially his changeup, sometimes as a hitter, you just have to give up pull side to stay on it. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. 
got to believe that runner from first is going to be in motion, especially in this situation, as an offensive player just hit something hard because those defenders are going to be moving. And that's through into center, so the first two have reached here to start the second. That is this. The third base Jose at the plate, Rojas. Jose Rojas. Just missed with the 2-2 two -two count, and it runs full now. Don't be shocked if he doesn't go right back to that same pitch. You could tell he jelly-legged him at the plate a little bit. Froze him, but just missed the zone. Good battle here. This will be the seventh pitch coming up. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Gerber is right there, one down. Now at the plate, Joey Curletta. The early season numbers look very good as he is up over 400 here to begin the campaign. The 2-1 home. Now the double steal is on here. Popped him up. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. So stepping in, Brendan Lund, who's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Tried to work in the backdoor breaking ball there for a strikeout, but he just couldn't quite get it to come back to the corner. That's a really tough pitch to hit if you can spot it. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Last half of the second set to go. So coming to the plate, Mike Gerber. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Checks his swing here, but he does so in time. Lifted down the line and left. But this will land untouched. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. Oh, and they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Not shortstop. Roger. Now the 2 1. Roger. A little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The 2 2. Doesn't hit the target. It's ball three. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Full count still. Bottom of the second here with no score. There's ball four. In now, Todd Zinnegi. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Hit in the air out to left field. Marsh is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Stepping in, Drew Butera. He did not play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. The 1 1 is strike two swinging. One ball, two strikes, yeah. Throws him for strike three, and that retires the side. Now with the plate, Anthony Bamboon, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. The 1-1 home is a fastball down below the knees. Fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? Action pitch right here, 2-2. Two, two. The last thing you want to do is to fall behind the count, 3-2. And there's your first out of the inning. 
third inning, no score to this point. Two and one. Too high that time, and it's three and one. Cam Williams waits on deck. Ball four. Stepping into the box, Cam Williams. He reached on a single in his first try. Salcedo, base runner at first with one out. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. The 2 2. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Hard hit ball. Caught down there at third. Had him played perfectly that time, and there are two gone now. So Joe Adele bats now. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Runners on the move for second. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time as he steals second. Two and one. Here it is. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. Line drive to left. Daza is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Now to the plate, Tyler Nevin. And he has not gotten off to the start he had hoped for with the bat. It's been a real struggle for him out of the gate. Who jumped the gun a bit on that swing and he's down one and two. swing and he pops him up and no one can get there he'll try it again not surprised he's laid on a heater right there just saw an off speed pitch wanted to stay back a little bit too long two balls and two strikes now here now the 2 2 is looked at and the count moves full you do not want to walk the eight hole hitter it just opens up so many options do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Softly hit out towards short. And one gone. At the plate, Drew Weeks. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. Fouls this one off. The one and two pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Digging in. Jonathan Daza. Flied out in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Grounded to the right. Fielded cleanly. A flip to the pitcher covering as that will retire the side. Next will be the cleanup hitter, number 74, as we begin the top of the fourth. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get them in, but that hasn't been the case. The one-two. Liner towards second, but this will be gloved out there at second as he didn't have far to go for the out. Now batting. Digging in, Brandon Marsh. He singled his last time up. From the windup, the one-one pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the right fielder. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. 
Digging in for his second at bat, Jose Rojas. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. The 1 1. Well off the plate with the change of pace. That's ball two. Pulled toward right center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away. And that ends the inning. So digging in now, Eric Stamets. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Not a time to fool around right now on a three two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or the strikeout, and there's one guy. At the plate, Chris Owings comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Swing and a little blooper to center. Salcedo ranging into the outfield, and there's their first hit of the game. Now batting, center fielder. Stepping in now, Mike Gerber lays off 2 and 2 now. He's running. Swing and a miss. Strike three. The throw way late. And he's in there easily at second. Standing in, Brendan Rodgers reached base via the walk in his first plate appearance. Ready with the 1 1. Hard hit ball to second. And that is into right field, the base hit. And they're going to hold that runner at third base. As even with two away, they didn't like their chances there. Into the box now, Todd Zinnigan. And the low 80s slider is in there, and he's in control one and two. Hit hard on the ground to second. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Throw to second for the four shot, and the side is retired. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Joey Curletta, 0 for 1 after a pop out in foul territory his first time through. Yeah, Matty, and I think that pop out was just a result of poor pitch selection. Got to see the pitch over the harder plate. He chased well out of the zone, and as a result, didn't really put a good swing on that. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Striding forward now is the D.H. Brendan Lund. He flew out in his last at bat. And the count will be full. One out, nobody on. Liner towards second. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Now that is. Anthony. So now to the plate, Anthony Bemboom. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. The 2 1. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. And he'll take this one to the bag for the out. But meanwhile, the runner will move up 90 feet to third base. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Eric Salcedo. Eric. The set and the 1 1. And that's ball three now as it just misses below the zone. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two out walk with the runner still at third. How about it? Digging in once again, Cam Williams. And their runners at the corners now. He set the 3-2. Skied in the air to straightaway left. 
Daza is there, and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Set now for the bottom of the fifth. Stepping up to the plate, Drew Butera. First time up, he went down looking. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. Has to put the ball in play. The count now at two and two. The pitch. Wow, from over three and two, and that last pitch on two and two wasn't even close. He had this guy in the ropes, but now he let him right back into this at bat. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the three. inning. Tyler Nevin. Fouled off. And it's fouled away. Bases are empty, one man out. And he missed with it up and in to even things at two and two. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away. So now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Now the 2-1. Good opposite field power here, taken high and deep to right. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started. Ready for another shot now. Joe Adele, he's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Fouled away. The one two it is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike three. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, number 74. He's one for two in the ball game. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Wow, talk about a waste pitch on two and two. That one wasn't even close. I don't know anyone that would have swung at that pitch. Ashton Godot will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Brandon Marsh will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. The 1-1 one -one pitch. Godot, a 27-year-old, he throws a four-seam fastball, a curve, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. Runners on first with one down. To two balls and two strikes now. Not sure if that was a great take or if he got locked up on a two-seamer running away, but either way, it worked out well for him. That's a well-thrown pitch, though. Two two gets him looking at the knees for the strikeout. Into the box now, Jose Rojas. He started out the evening 0 for two so far. Rojas. The one two. Runner on first with two away. Pulled high in the air out to right field. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Striding in once again, Jonathan Daza. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Flair out toward right center. Number 74 ranging into the outfield. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Now back, the designated Next will be the designated Eric. hitter, Eric Stamets. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out. A dive and oh, he can't hang on. 
Dylan Peters enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Into the box, Chris Owings. Slapped hard the opposite way, but this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. Ready for another chance? Mike Gerber, 0 for 2 for him to this point. Here now the 2-2. Runner goes for second. Pitch is high. The throw. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And he struck out again. That's the third time he's gone down on strikes in this one. Stepping in, Joey Curletta. A pop out and a ground out for him to this point. Not sure if this is a powerhouse pitching performance by both teams or bad hitting, but as we're moving late into this one, it's about time somebody put something together to try to score a run. Gerber has to roam straight back, but he has it for the first out. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Brendan Lund. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. It can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. One out, nobody on. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Now back. Coming to the plate now, Anthony Bamboon. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. On to first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. Mike Mayers will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Mike. Brendan Rodgers bats next. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. Oh, and he has some trouble with it. And he's retired here one away. Stepping into the box, Todd Zinnegi. No hits to this point. Now the one and one pitch is taken for ball two. Big sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch, but if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. And that's into the outfield for a one-out base hit. And now, Drew Butera. And a slider's in for a strike. It's two and two. Got him. And that's the third time we've written a K next to his name in this one. Now with the play, Tyler Nevin. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Long run for the center fielder. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to begin the eighth, digging in the switch hitter, Eric Salcedo. It was a walk in his last trip. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Ball two. Here now the two two. Cam Williams will be next. Good swing just a little early, and he'll see another payoff pitch. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. Count remains full. And he fouls this one off. 
Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now batting. Digging in, Cam Williams, leadoff man on base, and we'll see what they have in mind strategy-wise here. And the runner back safely. Here it comes on one and one. Here's a ball swung on and lofted in the air out toward right center. Gerber will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Into the box, Joe Adele. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So here's the cleanup hitter, number 74. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. Soft liner towards short, and this will be taken down no problem for the final out of the inning. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. Striding in, Drew Weeks. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Now the 3 and 2 pitch. And he lays off, ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. So striding forward now, Jonathan Daza. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. One and one, here it is. And here's a slider. Strike three called, and that'll be the first out of the inning. Digging in and looking for more, Eric Stamets. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. Lays off the slider that time, two and one. Popped up. Just foul. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. This one's down to third. Reined in to second for one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, this side is retired. Settling in now, Brandon Marsh. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, and they froze him on a good changeup. Tough one. If you got good arm action, and this pitcher certainly does have good arm action out there, tough to decipher between the fastball and changeup. He's got to be willing to stay back and take the ball the other way. To two balls and two strikes now. And he popped him up. Back into foul territory behind first. But this will land untouched. Lying toward the alley in left center on a base hit. So a great start to the ninth as the possible go-ahead run is aboard to kick off the inning. Now that hurt Okay. Rojas. Standing in now, Jose Rojas. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Throw is going to go on to first, so a perfect sacrifice there is now the go-ahead run Come moves back. into scoring the position here. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats, out of play. It's one and two. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Right here. Whoa. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes.
is put in play to the right side of the infield. Throw in time, and the side is retired. Neil Ramirez enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Here's Chris Owings now. He's working on a one for three thus far. Off the breaking ball there as he moves ahead to two and one. Ramirez, a six foot four inch right hander who was selected in the first round back in the draft of 2007. I know this guy hasn't turned out the way everyone expected, but he's still young. I don't think you can give up on a guy that has a tool set like this. Fly ball out toward left center field. Marsh, a range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Into the box now, now. now. Mike Gerber. Three at bats for him in this one, all ending with him going down on strikes. Popped him up. Bimboom over to his right. Two down. Riding into the box, the Brendan Rodgers. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Curletta will put this one away and his side is retired. We are into extra innings. Ready once again. Anthony Bamboon. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Ground ball left side. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. And a good try to recover that time, but he'll beat it out as he's aboard to kick off the inning. Stepping in now, Eric Salcedo. Down low, two balls and a strike. Shot down the first baseline. One there. On to first, and they get the double play. Now batting, Cam Williams. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one for four day. From the windup, the 1 1. Listen, I'm not trying to make up an excuse, but this is this guy's fifth inning of work in this game out of the bullpen are you kidding me nobody goes five innings anymore count even at two and two even at two and two the pitch well all of the umpires in the seats thought that would strike three and they weren't far off but I think that was a good call look to be just a bit outside and he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now batter. Coming to the plate now, Joe Adele. There are two gone and a possible go-ahead run at first. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's in for a base hit. Finally, make him one for five now. And now he has some trouble with it in center. Antonio Santos trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. At the plate, number 74, heading out towards shallow right. And that will fall as he comes through. It's a base hit. On to second, but he's in safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. So now to the plate, Brandon Marsh, right to him. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Jacob Barnes takes the ball, looking to make sure this game goes no further. Save situation here in inning number 10. Ready for the bottom of the 10th here. Ready now. Todd Zinnigy. Last time through was a base hit. Here now the 2-2. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. 
And there's the first out. Now at the plate, Drew Butera. He went down on strikes last time up. Heading out towards shallow right. Williams will come in a bit and put it away for the second out of the inning. So striding in, Tyler Nevin. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Fouled off. One strike from a shutout. Here it comes. Line towards center field. Solid base hit for him, his first of the afternoon. So a great job on a one and two pitch to keep the inning alive. The right fielder, number 16. Into the box, Drew Weeks. Takes this the other way to right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. And the plate now, Jonathan Daza. And he struck him out for out number three. So that'll wrap things up here as they leave the possible tying run stranded at first. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it. But hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. This evening's game finishes 2-0 the final score. Neil Ramirez claims the win out of the pen his first. Jacob Barnes hammers down the save his second. So that's a wrap for us here tonight. For my partners in the booth, Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. And for more, click over to theshownation.com.